Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Kendall. If you've stumbled across this channel today, you are lucky. That's because I'm going to be talking about hip thrust and glute bridges, which to me, hip thrusts are pretty much the gold standard for building a booty. If you are part of my Instagram fam, you know that my hashtag in my squat challenge has been hashtag build more booties. And more as in M-O-O-R-E, a.k.a. my last name. So, let's get into it. Work, 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 work. You see me heavy work, 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 work. You see me do me that, that. First off, let's talk about posterior chain strength. Your posterior chain is the back of your body. So, anterior is the front, posterior is the back. Posterior chain strength, we're going to include gluteal strength, which is your butt muscles, hamstring strength, which is the back of your thighs, and then lower back strength. We'll kind of include those three in posterior chain strength. The stronger your posterior chain is, the more powerful your movements will be. As I've said, hip thrust to me are the gold standard for how to build your booty. Anytime you are trying to build a muscle, you have to put it in progressive overload. That means you've got to train the muscle with more weight than it is accustomed to. Your muscles do not grow by themselves. They have to be put underneath a tension or a situation where they're not used to in order for them to build and grow. This is kind of just my disclaimer. As with any exercise, it's very, very important to master the basics. Understand the technique of the basic movement and the basic exercise before you start adding on weight. This will prevent injury in the long run. And ideally, education and preventing injury are number one in my mind. In a glute bridge, you're gonna lay flat on your back. You're gonna keep your knees bent. Slightly exhale to engage your core. This is putting your back flat on the floor. You will go to lift your hips, squeeze your booty, and squeeze your hamstrings, holding that position at the top. When performing a hip thrust, your back or shoulder blades is going to be placed directly on the bench or box. This will depend on your height. You're going to exhale, which is going to draw your ribs in, and you're going to tuck your pelvis and put it at a neutral position. Plant your feet at about a 90 degree angle. You're going to push through your heels, pivoting at your shoulders, making sure your chin is tucked and in a neutral position. You're going to contract your glutes and push your hips forward. When you get comfortable enough doing a hip thrust without weight, you can start adding weight. This is a barbell placed at the bend of my hips. So you don't wanna place the bar too high up on your hip bones or too low. If it's uncomfortable for you, you can add a pad. It's a little more difficult to balance doing a hip thrust with a dumbbell, but it also can be done. You place it still kind of at the bend of your hips and perform the same movement. Frog pumps are great because it removes the quads and hamstrings and isolates the glutes. Put your feet together and lift your hips. Thank you for visiting my channel and watching this video. I hope it was informative. I hope to do more videos like these in the upcoming weeks. Stick around. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram name is at Kendall D. Moore, right here. Follow me for more ideas, workout tips, tricks, things that will definitely help you in your fitness journey. Once again, thank you for visiting.